What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy Photoshop tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to change the eye color of someone inside of Photoshop by stealing someone else's eyes. Yep, that's it. Now as always, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the content. You can also check out the Twitter, Instagram, and Discord channels down below. And if you like this song you're currently listening to, you can actually sign up for a 30-day free trial to Epidemic Sound. So you can also have pretty awesome music for your videos too. Let's get started. Now we're using these two photos for this tutorial. And you can download these photos um, down below in the description. I'll leave some links. So we've imported our photo. I'm just gonna turn off layer one. You won't have that. And uh, we wanna import the other photo as well. Now we've opened up our close up eye photo. So we can actually steal the iris or the eyeball part from this eye. Now you wanna grab your pick whip tool right here. If you don't see your toolbar in Photoshop, all you have to do is go to window and then tools. Now, if you still don't see this little tool right here, just you probably see the polygon lasso. If you left click and hold, it'll pop up these new options and we can grab our lasso tool. And I'm gonna kind of roughly draw a circle around the blue of this eye. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna fix this later. With your background selected, um, you shouldn't have anything else selected here. Um, you can right click and then layer via copy, which creates this, which is what we want. We wanna copy this over into our other composition. Now, once you have this copied right here, then you totally could go to image adjustments, hue and saturation, and just you know change the hue of the eye to something crazy. Then grab your eraser tool on the side and erase the edges so you don't have the hued out edges. And that would be a quick way to change an eye color. It's not perfect, but it works. But we wanna do it differently, so we'll continue on. So I'm gonna hit layer two. For you, it'll be layer one. And uh, control C on a PC or Command C on a Mac to copy, and then jump back to our original, and then Control V to paste it in. It's really big right now, and that's a good thing. We took a high quality eyeball, we're gonna shrink it down. Better than blowing something up. Uh, we'll hit Control T on our keyboard, or Command T on a Mac to open up the kind of movement scale options, and we're gonna scale this down. Zoom in real quick, uh, Command Plus or Control Plus on your keyboard. Press space bar to move around. And then let's move this eye into position. Make it really small. What we can actually do is bring the opacity down to really line it up. I got it at about 74%. And we can kind of scale it up, make it a little larger than it needs to be. We're gonna fix this in a second. You click okay, that lines up pretty well. And then what we wanna do now is drag layer one down to the little plus icon right here to copy this layer. And we'll move it over like this, space bar to move it over. Now what we wanna do is flip this so it actually lines up a little better. So go to Edit, Transform, and then Flip Horizontal, which will flip this eye around. And then we can hit Control T or Command T on our keyboard again to rotate it a little bit. So it lines up, you can scale it up if you need to to make it fit a little more. Now that looks pretty aligned. Now what we're gonna do now is actually go um, to our eraser tool on the left here and actually start erasing the edges. Now I have my brush set to 17 pixels, flow at 100%, smoothing 0%. We can actually go around and erase the edge of this eyeball. This is where you're gonna get that perfect blend to make it kind of like sit in there. Now from here you can scale it up more if you need to um, to make it fit. Command, hold Alt or Command on the keyboard to scale it from the center. Let's move it up a little bit and click OK. Spacebar, let's go over to the other eyeball. Layer one from before. Go back to our eraser tool and erase the edges. Now this is the majority of the leg work that you'll have to do for these eyes, but I'm doing it live as you can see and it's really not that bad. Now if you failed or you know you need to start over, no problem, just go copy and paste the original I from before. Command T or Control T on our keyboard. Hold Alt or Command on your keyboard to scale it up from the center. And let's move this into position. And click OK. Now if we zoom out, we can see that that looks pretty darn good. Um, it's already aligned pretty well, it's pretty convincing. You could probably scale these up a little bit. You can kind of see a little edge right here that you wanna get rid of. So we can scale them up a little more. That's not a big deal. 
really big colorful eyes, kind of like anime eyes. May need to erase the bottom really quick, just to get it to fit into the eyelid. The top, not so much, it's not too bad. Space bar, move over. Same thing for this eye, layer one copy. Um, scale it up, just to cover the edges. Go back to our eraser tool and erase the top a little bit just to get it to fit into the eye. Now that blends in pretty well. Now what we wanna do is actually kinda of match this from a little bit more of a color and texture perspective. So as you can see on this photo, there's a lot of grain and these eyes are almost perfect. We want them to kind of match from a grain perspective. Now what you're gonna do is hop over to your layer panel, grab both these layers, hold shift on your keyboard, right click both these layers, and then go to convert to smart object, which turns them into a single layer and also something you can manipulate. So what you're gonna do is go to filter, camera raw filter with this layer selected, which opens up this thing. Now it looks a little funny right now because it's only the eyes, but that's what kind of what we're going for. And we also have the opacity set to 75%, remember that. So we're gonna hit effects on uh, this little color panel that pops up and then go to grain and increase the grain. I think 50% is good for now. We could always go in and change this. That's what's great about camera raw filter. It's not permanent effects. Then click okay. Now if we zoom in, we can see that the eyes have that kind of grainy texture that sort of match. But from a distance, it does help them blend in a lot more. Now from here, if you do want to continue to change the eye color, just like before, you can do a lot of different things. You can go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. That will work. You can change the eye colors this way, do all kinds of different stuff, you know, purple, just depending on what you want to do. You can kind of match what you're, you can try to match what you're looking for, or, or you can jump back into camera raw filter by double clicking camera raw filter right here opens this dialog back up, and then you can go to the HSL adjustments, which opens up the hue, saturation, and luminance of color, and you can change these along as you go. Bring the blues all the way down to aqua, bring the purples all the way down here, go to saturation, saturate the blues highly, which turn, should turn our eyes slightly green. And just like that, we've turned the eyes green. You can see the original, and then the new brighter green color which I have been, uh, originally liked the blue. We selected the original eye color from the picture we chose. And that is it. That is how you quickly change eye color inside of a photo. Now, depending on what you're trying to change, the different two methods may work better. The hue adjustment, select and change the hue, or you can steal an eye from another picture that aligns directly sort of with the camera angle that really helps out. And that's it. As always, guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.